Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you are really enjoying these tutorials. So in this tutorial, we are going to be performing normalized band ratio index, which is used to reflect the band severity of a region. So we'll be using Landsat 8, as you can see. I will explain the normalized band ratio index as we go on. So go to unsupervised and select indices. Then, now we are going to input the Landsat 8 as the input file. And then you'll select the options there and then the output file. So um, in a pre-fire, the healthy vegetation usually has a high near-infrared reflectance and a low short-wave infrared reflectance. While in the post-fire, healthy vegetation has a low near-infrared reflectance and a high short-wave infrared reflectance. So um, a high infrared, a high normalized band ratio reflects that there is um, healthier vegetation. Whereas a low, the normalized burnt ratio usually reflects that there is a um, bare ground or recently burnt areas. So, we're just going to continue the process as you can see. And a high um, difference normalized burnt ratio, it reflects that um, there is high severity. And a high a difference normalization normalized band ratio is just the difference between the pre-fire NBR and the post-fire NBR. I hope this all makes sense to you. So just follow through the process. Click OK. We are just opening the images, the two images. And then you'll just put them to view. Now if you notice, the higher or the brightest pixels are of higher band ratio, normalized band ratio. And this in indicates that um, this is trying to indicate the severity of the of the fire. So higher, higher, or the brighter areas reflect um, burnt areas. So if we zoom in, as you can see, we can also repeat the same process for the Mount Kenya region, which is more prone to forest fires around the Abadea region. So I'll just do that quickly. And NBR is a factor of is a function of near infrared minus short of infrared over near infrared plus short of infrared band. So you can just open that quickly. And as you can see, the Mount Kenya region, um, there is brighter areas around the mountain, and these are areas that are usually very prone to forest fires. As you can see, the area I'm hovering on. Yeah. 